Hello, I'm Brian Jorgensen with JMT. Today we're going to go over a dual operator iron worker. It's a 60 ton machine. I'm going to go over the punching end of the machine first. This machine can punch a one inch hole through three quarter inch plate mild steel. This machine comes with a um, table with a gauging system also. We got a fence and we got a um, stop, which is all adjustable. It's got the high speed hydraulics, do 37 strokes per minute. We got our limit switches, which we adjust by an Allen wrench. Come back here to our angle shear, four by four by three eighths at 90, at 45 or three by three by quarter inch, left and right cutting. Uh, we got fences and a table. As you can see here, our table is marked what um, degrees we want to set our fences to. This can do 12 inches at 5 eighths, 8 inches at 3 quarter. Um, our solid round and square, we'll do 1 9 16 round or square capacity. This machine comes standard with the Copra Notcher also. 1 and 5 eighths by 3 and a half is the dimensions of the Copra Notcher. As you can see here, we got a table, a gauging table like we do the front. And on this side, this machine comes standard with the, what we call a electric back gauge. When we hit this button here, it automatically cycles. Makes for very fast per, um, production of parts. We can have a guy out 30 feet pushing material into this and automatically cuts for him. Very effective, very fast, especially if we um, use our limit switches correctly. Okay, we're going to um, demonstrate how these foot pedals work. You got a dual position foot pedal. I got low tonnage. When I push softly on the foot pedal, which I can use for marking my part. You can see this little indent in here. And if I push hard on the foot pedal, I'll punch through. Very effective. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you would use the gauging table on this. I removed the front of the table, as you can see, so I can punch the angle on this machine. Let me stop. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate doing the quick change tooling on this. And what it means by quick change, I just have to snap this loose, twist a couple times, the punch will drop right out. Loosen this, lift my die right out, and pop this out, pop it back in. Pop my punch back in. Snug it. Tighten. Now I'm gonna go ready to go ahead and start punching. Okay, I removed the front table right here so you can kind of see a little clearer the um, structural die block. It's got a gooseneck style design. I can move this right here. When I remove this, this takes the tonnage of the iron worker down in half. So we're 30 tons when we're punching with this. Um, um, block removed, but you can see this allows me to punch the web and flange of I beam and uh, C channel right here. Now we're going to demonstrate the dual operating function of this iron worker. I have Ryan here to help me with this. Now we'll walk around and you can see how clean it's cutting the rounds.
Right now we're going to demonstrate, I got Ryan, he's going to demonstrate how this electric back gauge works. See how quick this is? You can do a lot of parts very quickly with this design. See, there's 10 pieces we cut in seconds. Um, right here, I, you can notice as I actually tilt this um, back gauge down a little bit, I don't want my um, material to get caught in between my shear and the back gauge. I want it to fall out. That's why I put it in this on, on an angle. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate the flat shear. Dude, it's a 12 inch shear. Clean cutting, pretty thin little strip of piece of metal. Okay, we're demonstrating the angle shear. This is three by three by quarter. This machine's capable of four by four by three eighths at 90. Clean cutting, uh, the angle shear, the top blade is actually free floating, so it actually float, finds the center of your angle iron and um, cuts clean. Doesn't deform your angle as it's cutting it. Now I'm gonna demonstrate cutting a 45 left and right, how this shears it. Now you can just weld that right up. Just wanted to take a minute to show you how accurate this angle shear is from pieces we've cut with this machine. I'm gonna slide them back together. Now we're going to demonstrate the notching end of this iron worker. It's a three by three piece of quarter inch angle iron. Goes through it relatively pretty easy. On this um, style of notch, you have to be on two sides of the material. As you can see, that's actually a pretty good notch out of that material.